Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Good morning, dear friends. How much do we need a prayer? We need prayer all the time and every day. Let us make this moment a moment of strengthening for us, a moment of calibration, so we can feel that we are aligned with God and that everything is all right. No matter if we cannot see the way out, no matter if we see the pressure coming onto us, we feel the soothing presence of the Master coming to us and saying, everything is well. God is in charge. Look at the birds, the flowers. They are not worried. Why should we? Good question. Talking about the fields, Emmanuel today, is going to bring to us a message titled In the Fields of the World. He quotes Jesus in Matthew chapter 13, item 23. But the seed falling on good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understands it. This is the one who produces a crop yielding a hundred, sixty, or thirty times what was sown. And Emmanuel explains, in fact, life is comparable to the soil treatment that we're allowed to cultivate. Rise up every day and sustain your field of service that you may labor. The land is the neighbor that provides you to harvest. To carve the field is to give of ourselves without thinking of us. Just plant the good so that the good will answer to you. For this, however, it is imperative to act and persevere in the work. Never give up. As it occurs in common crops, it is necessary to count on downpour and heat hail and wind, past and detritus. Complaints are not worthwhile. Remove the difficulty and proceed steadily. Above all, the production income is what matters for the benefit of all. If someone despises you, undermining the supposed simplicity of your duty, forget the incomprehension of others and come Continue to plant, continue to plant for general abundance. Many people do not remember that the bread goes to the table at the expense of sweat of those who dip their hands in the clay of the field so that the seed can bear fruit. When this or that person requires you to rest without your conscience accusing fatigue, do not believe in this illusion. The rest of idleness consumes the plow much more than the movement of service. In the certainty that the Lord of work observes you, work, trust, and be vigilant. Do not doubt or fear. Give the best of yourself to the harvest of life. And without realizing it, the divine pharma will hang in the front of your ideal, the flowering of hope and the, con the conquest of triumph. Don't we need this message today and every day? We do. This message, just this phrase, never give up. And it says, do not doubt, do not fear. And it says even more. If someone comes and says, rest, 
but your conscious doesn't say you need it, don't believe in this illusion. Friends, God is encouraging us to keep cooperating with him. Let us keep cooperating, friends. Let us keep aligning ourselves with God. Let us keep moving forward in the joy of everyday life. Let us pray then. Dear Mother, Father God, we need you, and you invite us. Thank you for this message that invites us to never give up, that invites us to keep on going, that invites us to love. Thank you for sustaining us with the blessings of life, of family, of togetherness, of our community. We know that there are many people who right now are going through extreme difficulties. We pray for them. We pray for every nation, but especially to the United States of America. We pray that this day be a day in which we all feel your presence more closely to us. And we feel that you are caring for everyone in such a loving way that we ungrateful children cannot perceive it. May we perceive it today and live a better day. Feeling your loving embrace, we visualize the whole earth being showered by your healing light. Thank you for blessing our families. And thank you for one more day in this reincarnation. And so be it. We felt it, right? We felt this energy, this envelopment of love. We felt how much we're loved by God. And that's why we're very thankful and we wish you many blessings during this day. And don't forget, Cardiac Radio has always many programs, either on demand or live. Stay tuned, share the good news, because here at Cardiac Radio, we are always nourishing ourselves. Thank you, friends.